Hello. Oh, that was the wrong camera. I actually wanted to start over here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? There is a kitty. This time there is a kitty. Amazing. We are lucky today. Hmm? Kitty meow. Oh. So happy. Of you are doing well hope all of you are doing fantastically I am doing all right went for a walk well more of a, a drive you could say today or uh, for a couple of hours actually I almost went went outside a bit too long and didn't make it to the, to the start of my stream but Everything turned out alright. And kitties standing up, what are you doing? Time? Evening time? Washing time? It was a nice day today. Oh, God. Okay, kitty. As soon as I started talking, of course. No. Now you're sitting in front of the, the bedroom door. Oh. Megan, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? I still haven't. <laughs> have made the, the, the alert sound a bit more quiet. I uh, completely forgot about this. But yeah. It's okay. It just startles me. You're good? That's a, I'm glad to hear that. Also, that's a, <laughs> that's a cute emote. Cute onigiri emote. <laughs> I'm doing alright. <clears throat> Went for a walk today. It was a nice day. Sunny, but also a lot of clouds in the sky. And since I'm trying to research them, the it's always nice to look at. And yeah, did a little bit of sketching, and now I'm here. And so, the plan for today's stream is gonna be, um, I will make, well, I'm gonna paint some clouds again, no big surprise here, but this time in a night sky, if you haven't read the title yet already. So. <laughs> um, the reason is, well, first of all, I haven't done so, I haven't done any clouds in, uh, in the night and I have to practice that too of course so far it's only like daytime and sunset or sunrise but night sky also needs to be painted um, and also recently I've been watching in let's play a wind waker or a wind waker randomizer and I was it's like I always liked just 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 going through the sea in your boat and you just enjoy the music, you enjoy the the view, the sea, the sky, and the sky looks very nice. And so I've been watching that um, and thought to myself, yeah, I could go for that and also during the night it looks very neat. Sounds peaceful, yeah. 
I always look, um, I always watch those kind of let's plays right before I go to sleep, or, or right as I'm about to fall asleep, because there is a let's player who is like really chill, <clears throat> and it helps me to fall asleep. It's it's my method normally, and I I tried it with a couple of other. Let's players and streamers and other kinds of videos, but that just works for me the best because the way he he also does the let's plays is he he is rambling a lot and not always is it the most interesting thing that he's talking about. He's not boring, but you know he's just he's just rambling, you know, and it's like it's perfect together with his uh, with calm voice. It's perfect to just have it going in the background and <clears throat> it's not uh, it's not as loud and, and like forceful as some other people's uh, voices uh, they're not really talking about something like super intriguing and interesting so I stay awake because I want to listen to that uh, or or something like that you know and the games he's playing is are normally like lots of Zelda and lots of other chill games and so there's it's not like explosions happening all the freaking time and slashing and chopping and and whatnot and it's just it's it's more of a chill time but anyways um <clears throat> what I haven't done yet was get a, a few additional um, reference pictures um, so let's say wind waker night so what I also want to do is to paint the clouds very large and soft kind of like cartoony even so, I also try to explore that kind of style a little bit. Let's see, I'm just gonna drop some reference pictures over here, so that I have them later. Okay, should be fine again. I hope so. <clears throat> um, let me check. I'm sorry about that. That was just completely random. I haven't restarted my PC in quite a while, I do have to say, so... Yeah, it has to do with that, but well... Now it forced me to restart. Well... <sighs> ah, but anyways... 
Kitty is still not here, she's outside probably. And she on the other table. <sighs> well, that was a great start. <sighs> well, anyways. Also, Twitch chat ha seems to have some problems staying connected. Let me just real quick check if I have everything that I need. Should be fine though. To adjust this again. Good, okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, so back to the stream now talking about plan for this time yeah I, I wanted to collect some reference pictures that's right let me do that real quick and hopefully i'm not gonna get interrupted this time so for the best so let's get some nighttime pictures the game Wind Waker. Well, that should be enough. I don't need that many. Right. So, uh, so from what I can see is that the the way to paint these kind of clouds is to make them brighter than the sky itself, and sometimes you want to overdo it. So from what I can see is actual photos, so realistic clouds, are pretty dark and uh, during the night, which, yeah, I mean, no surprise. Um, but when you make a painting, you have a little bit of creative freedom, of course, and so you can just make them brighter in order to make them stand out a bit more. I think it's hindering you to do that. And yeah. So... Let's see. Let's see what we can do. First of all, let's make a little sketch. Oh my god, why is the... Now the next freaking problem, the... program is reacting so slow again. Like it's super delayed, like... Oh god. Come on. It sometimes does that and I have no idea why. Let me try to restart the program. Sometimes it's just... Yeah, it can just only... Only solve it by restarting the... PC. Which I don't want to do again right now. A lot of things are just acting real weird, and Twitch chat is not staying connected properly. Now this... <sighs> Still... I mean, you can't really see it because you don't see my pen, uh, but it's really delayed and I, I, I can't work like that, you know? Oh god. It's just for the pen though. It's just the pen. Drivers are updated. 
It just does that sometimes. For some reason. Oh, no. It... Okay, that could be maybe it. I just wiggled the cable. I just wiggled the cable a little bit. And now I... You're reconnecting too. Okay. Maybe that's just the, the secret behind it. The cable is just loose. <sighs> okay. I will remember that. Anyways. Oh. Let's get back to it. So. Let's do a sketch at first. <sighs> Stressful start. It's not a chill time, not a good time. It's not what we want. Um, horizon line. We can make it straight, that is. The horizon line is gonna be pretty low. This is just gonna be the sea and maybe some small islands here and there. Um. No, I don't want to make Wind Waker fan art. I just really, I really still want to make something of my own creation. Also because I might want to add it to the shop. Also this time, let me remember to do the time lapse recording. There we go. So. <clears throat> There's gonna be a moon, of course. Um, what kind of shape? I don't know. large shapes big and fluffy that's how we want it It's gonna be slightly hidden behind the cloud. It's very slightly. Maybe it's a bit shy. In front of these big clouds, there are gonna be a couple of smaller ones. 
One of the classes I've um, seen today during my walk. Uh, as I said, there were many. It was quite cloudy, but also sunny. And here in Vienna, what you mostly see is, is, is cumulus clouds. So lots of cumulus clouds. And there were so many, it looked like somebody copy-pasted tons and tons of clouds. Or like, you, you know, if you're familiar with digital art, you use some kind of spray tool and with, with just cloud shapes and just went crazy on it. There, was, there were so many. And also, um, during my walk, so I went to the Danube Island again. And normally you have all sorts of different kinds of events going on there, concerts and whatnot. Um, but that was of course put on halt to a pause um, because of the pandemic. But you can see that it's slowly returning. There are actually events being built up <clears throat> together with, with, you know, like testing stations and whatnot. So to still make sure that, um, you know, there, there aren't gonna be any super clusters in those, um, in those concerts and whatnot. And that's nice to see. I'm, I'm personally not really interested in them, but I'm happy for those who who go to these kind of events. And I've been looking forward to do so for quite a while at this point. But yeah, that also happened in between. So. On Friday, I got my vaccine, and that was also surely a an experience. Wait, let me just. Perspective uh, ruler. I just need to have it. One point perspective is fine. Don't want to do that. There we go. Oh. Horizon line is actually up here, but I want to have the grid down here, so I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. I, I can just increase the grid size and. Change it like that, okay. Uh, 
I'm, do I'm doing that just simply because um, I'm about to oops I don't want to do that <clears throat> draw the just these kind of like wavy shapes not wavy shapes I don't know like these kind of like reflective net like shapes in, in the water Hmm, actually let me do it this way. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it in bird's eye view. And then I will transform it. That should make things a bit easier. And I um, do not have any good practice with those kind of shapes, so it might look a bit weird. But I always liked them. I just really liked how the water walk, uh, how the water looks like in Wind Waker, even though it's very simplistic and, and cartoonish. But you know, sometimes you don't need more than that. Okay, th this freaking Twitch chat is going on my nerves because I constantly see it. Welcome to, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. And it's just, yeah, I've been here for a while. You don't. I'm just gonna, just gonna hide it because I still have to restream chat open, and that's that's still doing a good job. But if you're writing something into Twitch chat and I'm not seeing it, maybe it's because there are some kind of issues, some connection issues, and uh, the message didn't get through for me. In that case, just resend it, it's totally fine. just draw a little square in here and there because I want to use them in order to adjust the shape here later to what I need
too many lines going on and then see what's going uh. okay, let me cancel and turn off the goddamn grid here so there we go So this is definitely too stretched out. So finding a good spot right now where to let the shape end, where to let it fade out, is now a bit of a challenge. Um, for that purpose I made these squares, but they're actually not that helpful, unfortunately. see I need to draw a lot more now I want to make these shapes a bit larger though okay let me let me do this again make it wider this time have this activated of course so, no. I don't do this kind of thing very often so forgive me
Okay, this seems better. And then I'm just gonna extend it a little bit here to sides. Following the same kind of pattern. Should be easy enough. Now, how about some islands? The biggest one should be here in this corner, I feel, because we have the moon here on this side. This island has a little city on it.
Meow meow. Do I hear a meow meow? There's a kitty. Hello, kitty meow. How are you doing now? There she is. Found her. Oh, uh, she's coming over here. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back to the chair. Hello, kitty. Hey, Lucid. How is your. How are you doing? This is time for some couple shenanigans. I'm kidding now. Too hot. Oh no. I remember you complaining about it and still hasn't gotten better. Uh, sorry to hear that. Hope you'll get some sort of relief relatively soon. Some kind of storm or whatever. Good news. Eligible for the vaccine now. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really happy for you. Hell yeah. Now it's the young people's turn, it seems. That's good to hear. When are you gonna get it? Did you, uh, do you already have an appointment or did you just get the notice that your age group is, is not free to make appointments? Like for me, my town is small enough that appointments aren't needed anymore. Oh, that's god, that's awesome. It's just walk up to the place where they where they give you the, the vaccines and just I want one. Give me one. And there you go. Time to go tomorrow. Oh. Well then, I hope that tomorrow everything is gonna go super duper well. Well, I'm sure it will. For sure. Do you also already have uh, some, uh, an idea of what kind of vaccine you're gonna get? Or will you just find it out when once you're over there? Not sure yet. Oh well. I mean, any any vaccine is fine. The most important thing is that you you get you get vaccinated. That's pretty much it. 
Moving Kitty has moved. Who's the Movie Kitty? I suspect I won't get to choose anyway. Yeah, I, I don't think that. Like, I heard that some people were able to choose. Like, for example, I hear it for some very squeamish kind of people who really don't like needles. Um, that they were able to get the Johnson Johnson um, vaccine. Because it's just one shot instead of two. Which is, yeah, but... But I'm pretty sure I, for example, was not able to choose. But again, this is like... It's... Probably gonna depend on... The country you're in. The circumstances. But yeah, I haven't even started talking about... Um, how my vaccination experience was. Oops. Um, so I got my vaccine on Friday, as some of you already know. Um, and I made the appointment the day before that, so that was really quick, unexpectedly quick. But, yeah, awesome. And so I went there, and... Um, I went to the so-called Vienna International Center. Which is like, huge halls and huge everything. Normally for some kind of conventions or seminars or whatever. There is going on in there in that kind of world. Um, and basically, it was just a lot of walking and walking and walking. So they had it all in a huge scale. So they were able to have a lot of people go through these um, through these corridors and through these pathways that they've made and it was station based so the first station you get get your verification out like you, that you have some kind of appointment or whatever when you show it to them then next station you show off the the the, the formula that you filled out filled in and like all the information and then um give your e-card give your uh uh, ID and whatnot and so forth and then next station you show this kind of stuff again but it does different things with it and the next station you're gonna get informed about side effects and whatnot and there there's there are their own their own there are doctors who are just going to tell you that is you're not gonna get the vaccine yet they're just gonna tell you about these facts um <clears throat> And they're gonna check your vaccine pass. And then next station, and you're gonna walk and walk and walk. Um, and then finally, in these kind of like little tents, you were able to finally get your vaccination. Um, um, and that was like very quick to sit down, put up your arm, bam, and go outside through the other side of the tent. And there was this like large waiting hall because it's recommended that you wait like 15 or to 40 minutes uh, and just sit and drink something or uh, after the vaccination um i was like okay sure fortunately i had my stuff to, uh, for for drawing with me so i just sat down and draw a little uh, yeah and after i was done with my drawing it was about time for me to go anyways and then and then just out of the pathways and more and more and more pathways and then finally I get out and it's just lots of walking because as I said before the 
the capacities were were made for so much more people. And now on the day that I went, there was barely anything going on. I guess it's because also it's like it was more it was a uh, appointment based. So there were days that that I heard from a friend of mine who also got the vaccine over there. Uh, there were days where you were able to go there without an appointment. You just can go there and you get the vaccination. Just show your ID and whatnot. And there was so much going on on that day. And that was just, it was the same week, just Monday. Like, it's that crazy of a difference. So on Monday, there was so much going on be simply because the vaccines were free, uh, like without appointments to get. And at that day, the capacities were full. And she told me she had to wait for over an hour to get through all of that. Whereas I, like, not even in total, took, like, it took not even half an hour. And I'm also counting the waiting time after the vaccination, you know. Without that, it was like less than 10 minutes with your tier. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, it's very different, of course, we're right in the middle of a city and they have to have these large capacities um, and utilize the huge halls that we have here. It's more efficient than having like, who knows how many little stations scattered all over the city. <clears throat> um, yeah, that was it. Uh, and yeah, also the day after, the side effects hit me and I felt quite sick, but that was to expect. Um, everybody, like everybody reacts differently. Uh, my friend, for example, who also got the same kind of vaccine, um, was sick for two days. I was sick for only one day and the next, like the day after I felt completely not like normal like I wasn't sick at all the day before and the symptoms were just mainly me um, feeling very sluggish um, very very light fever barely counts as fever um, and headache the headache was nasty and I wasn't. I didn't really dare to take some kind of painkillers or something, um, because I didn't really get clear information about whether or not it's safe to take painkillers right after you got the vaccine, or, or it might limit the the vaccine's effect. Um, and I read that some painkillers might do that, but there are not really that many studies out and so mm, just to be sure not gonna take painkillers just just gonna endure the, the the headache it was just for one day and uh, fine yeah as you can see i survived my 5g powers did not help me <laughs> with my PC and so it crashed just right when I started the stream so yay I was lied to but other than that yeah everything back to normal I'm just gonna wait like I think it's like two weeks or something you need to wait um and then it's 5G power is overwhelming. Yeah, maybe it was too much. I don't know. But yeah, and then after that waiting time is over, I will finally do all of the appointments that I've been delaying for so long. So, gonna go to the bank, gonna go to the dentist, gonna go to... Uh, 
my regular doctor, get some checkups done. Uh, there's a vaccine, another vaccine that that, uh, that has been waiting in my fridge for over a year. And um, I would like, to, would like it to be administered to me. And I got that right before, before the pandemic even started. Luckily, they did last for quite a while, so it's fine. But yeah, I want to get all of these things done and not have to worry about getting infected or anything. It's just I can I can get things done again. How wonderful. It's probably gonna be the most excited about going to the dentist <laughs> or just to the regular doctor. Uh, that I've ever been. And still not quite happy with the perspective here. Oops. So what are you... Um, some of the first things you're gonna do right after you got the vaccine and you you waited long enough to for the uh, immune effect to to utilize whether like depending on what kind of uh, vaccine you get it might be the first or just after the second one but yeah are, are there some things you have been waiting to do, but weren't really able to do, were too, too careful, we're trying to care, be careful? to England literally next day ah <laughs> uh, so that's the reason for your break very nice and I hope you're not gonna have an, any nasty side effects because uh, that would be not the best timing She's outside. I'm gonna be losing the mask. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's regretted. I'm also still gonna wear the mask. Because if I can avoid it, I would still like to avoid getting infected. The vaccine does not make you 100% immune from getting infected. It's more so that if you get inf uh, infected um, it's greatly reducing the effects of the of the virus so you can stop all the hospitalizations and whatnot and that's the the main point of it the virus itself is not gonna go away unfortunately we're gonna have to learn to live with it and there are gonna be more vaccinations needed. I 
banget ya Also the thing is you yourself know that you're vaccinated but other people don't know about it and you're not gonna have your vaccine pass and show it to everybody in in the grocery shop or on the street or something like that to prove that you're vaccinated or whatever you can get in order to have like some kind of verification that you're that you're vaccinated you're not gonna do that I'm still gonna wear the mask also because of that. I don't wanna, don't wanna appear like an anti-masker. But ah, no, no thanks. <laughs> it's not a good look. Enough sketching, let's get to the painting, finally. Thor is supposed to be a speed paint. I'm not very speedy so far. Alright, let's see. Start with the base colors. So, some dark blue. That sketch needs to be in a different color for sure. Maybe, oops. The night sky still has some kind of gradient. kind of crazy though so in my family uh, who gets fully vaccinated which is a bit counterintuitive my sister got it first because she, she works at the kindergarten so it makes sense she got vaccinated months ago um, but the fact that I got my vaccination got fully vaccinated before my mother's. I don't know. <laughs> Although she she is getting the the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine, which is a, which has a higher efficacy. Um, the Johnson Johnson probably they're gonna use the Johnson Johnson vaccine mostly for just young people. Because for those, it doesn't really matter that much if the eff efficacy is a bit l higher or lower. They're gonna be fine anyways. But for the elder people, you wanna be on the safer side. 
Those are at least my assumptions. I don't know. What's gonna what's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna paint? Maybe the clouds. So first of all I get some good colors. Straight up white would be definitely too bright. So we want to avoid that. Maybe, maybe like this. Those are just supposed to be the base colors. Maybe they will give it some actual, actual shading and everything. Other than that, there is not really that much to report. I'm still playing Mystery Dungeon, still having fun with it, with the post game, with the post story content. So, um, almost completely done with the next video. 
I could theoretically upload it, like release it this week, but I'm gonna space it out a little bit more. And uh, the next video is gonna be about um, um, searching and collecting reference pictures. So something that should be more useful for all sorts of artists and not just digital artists, like, like my last video was. Ah. Itchy nose. So, maybe more saturation, yeah. Could go for a little bit more saturation, a bit more brightness. Sure. Shading colors too, of course. Oh, that is the wrong layer.
And now I'm gonna change the tool. Something more soft.
All right, how about we take a kitty break? And our kitty is not here, but maybe we can call her. Maybe we can lure her over for a little snack. some chicken and duck. Does that sound good? And pretzel. Mm -hmm. Up here. Up here. Okay. Did you it? Did you it? You want? Yeah, yeah. Yes, you want. Oh my gosh, you want it so much. because I don't like it to like split it at the top and it's just kind of awkward this way. And it's just kind of half chewing the back I don't like it. So I'm just gonna cut it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, you smell that? Oh, did you want? Oh, did you want? <laughs> Work from it. <laughs> Can't quite chew it off like that. Uh, the front teeth are not good for biting things off, they're just good for holding your prey, but not ripping off little pieces. Huh? That's what you use your molars for, yes. But if I hold it too high, you can't quite reach it with your molars. There's a moth. Why do you have to disturb us, you stupid ass moth? I hate them so much. Jumped up a tiny little bit. Almost poked you in the eye. Mm -hmm. Don't want that. Pat, pat. Oh, there you go. No, no, no. 
<laughs> ah! To group it properly, of course. Otherwise, you get the whole stick at once, and that's too much. Too much. <laughs> Huh? What is it? If you didn't pop. Ah, 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 that's my finger. That's my finger. That. That's the stick. That's my finger. No. Wrong. <laughs> stick. Finger. No. Stick. Stick. Finger. Ah, you got it right. Finger. <laughs> Lick. <laughs> I'm gonna gonna hide it behind the chair. And finger. No. Stick. Right. Stick. Finger. Just lick. Lick is fine. Licking is fine. It's acceptable. Stick. Half. Finger. Finger. <laughs> Doesn't work if I hold the stick with the same hand. Alright. Back. It's a good key. Stand up a little. Uh, 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 uh. What was that? That was lazy. That was lazy. Come on, kitty. You can do better than that. Then. No? Oh, no? <sighs> We're so pathetic. You're so lazy. How much? How much can you turn around? Do you this? What can you turn around? That's 
how you hold it. Arr. <laughs> Coco, look, look, there is still some left. Coco. I don't think she has much more energy left. Just starts cleaning. I got a little bits and pieces that you scattered all over the place there. yourself, Hoko. Okay. Take the last little piece, huh? Pull it out. Back. Good kitty. And now it's gonna be cleaning time. Hmm? The cleaning time. After a meal, isn't she just the prettiest? So pretty. You're just the sweetest. No, oh, you're going away. Just don't want me to catch you, huh? Again, shall we?
of the tools that I have, of the brushes. I'm not quite satisfied, um, satisfying for what I'm aiming for, the kind of style. Always leaving again. I just can't stay here, huh? Mau mau. Ah. Let's see what we can do there. Let us stay there. Let us stay there. So it just or it just doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. Why does it not work? <sighs> Why does this switch not work? Let me check real quick. Hotkeys. Kitty can too. Oh. I know why. So the, the stupid thing is about Windows, among many other things, um, if you are using um, a German keyboard but you want to have your computer in English, by default it always goes to the English keyboard layout and have to switch to the German one whenever I start up. The, the PC for some goddamn reason and yeah so it should it should work now but there we go so is Kitty still there? No oh, of course at this at that point she left. Of course Uh oh why can't you just stay in here while I'm streaming? It's just, it's just impossible. 
I think I just have to make the, the place in the other room just unattractive to her. But that she stays in here.
Uh, look at it, I actually like how the clouds at the back look like much more than those ones here. I wanna change it. Let's see what I can do. You know what, let's just do this here, reset everything from the start, except for the clouds at the very back. Let's try this again. Before that, I should maybe make sure that the edges, the clouds, look okay.
In the end, I'm ending up with a slightly more realistic look, but... I don't know, I just kind of prefer it. This is a bit of a different way to paint it. Just mainly using a very soft tool. With the shading and everything. And kinda neat.
Hey there, GG. Oh, thank you. Uh, you don't speak English? Well, that's okay. You can just hang out here. That's totally fine. If you do have some questions, you can maybe try Google Translate them and ask me, ask me them and maybe I can find out what you're trying to ask me. But yeah. Uh, what do I draw with? With, uh, yeah, a tablet, a, um, a Cintiq, a, an art display. So basically, you can draw on the display itself with this little pen here. And the program would be just simply Clip Studio Paint. Um, by the way, if you if you have questions like that, like what am I, uh, what do you draw with, what what do you use, and stuff like that, and you can just go over there to what's this? Um, FAQ. <laughs> I forgot my own commands. <laughs> And in that uh, document, you can find a lot of frequently asked questions and get answers. Although that doesn't mean that you're not... Uh, like, I'm not trying to give you the idea that I don't want to answer these questions, please just... Please just read the document, no, it's just to it's still fine, if you still have some kind of questions, then it's totally okay. But for like questions like what to use and stuff like that, I don't always remember on the top of my head what kind of, what kind of models I use, for example, and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, it's just outside, it's just too bad. Oh well. During stream time only if there are some snacks. Only if there are some snacks for the kitty. How long does it take to finish a drawing? 
Uh, that varies a lot. <laughs> um, this is supposed to be a speed painting. It's not the fastest how I'm painting right now, but... Um, like, it can take to... Like, if I'm really quick with a speed paint, it can be like an hour or so. An hour would be, for me, fast. Um, but I have... I've done paintings that took uh, dozens of hours, like, I don't know, 40 hours or more. Yeah. It just really depends on how large your painting is, how many details there are, and what kind of techniques you use. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, what kind of techniques you use uh, for painting. Hey, Lucid. <laughs> That's okay. You don't need to apologize for that. Your stream is also gonna start pretty soon. If I am correct. other applications apart from Clip Studio? Um, yes. Um, I tried Photoshop, like many other people. Um, Photoshop I cannot really recommend because Photoshop is more of like an all-round program and wasn't primarily made for Photos, as the, as the name suggests, so photo manipulation, photo correction, uh, color correction, stuff like that. And not really for digital painting. Although it, at this point it offers a lot of tools, but it's still lacking in, in a lot of sense. Um, I tried, I think it was called Corel Painter or something like that. Um, I used it right when I was, was when I also got this tablet here, this 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 um, art display. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird. It had it had some cool things going on, and it is nice for painting, but for everything else, it's kind of meh. So I went to. Back then it was called Manga Studio, and now it's called Clip Studio. Also tried Critter for a short while, mainly because I was curious about the animation uh, feature of it. But yeah. Yeah, for animation actually, I also... Um, use TV paint for a while. Um, that one is also used in a lot of like professional studios that do t uh, 2D animations, traditional 2D animations. Um, but nowadays I mostly ju just use Clip Studio because I'm just familiar with the tools and everything and Having to learn two different programs and switching back and forth is kind of like eh. It's 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 a bit confusing. So if I have if I can have one program where I can do everything, I prefer that. Even if uh, Clip Studio's animation tools aren't the best, but for like little animations, it's totally fine. 
Photoshop I don't know how to use since it's more for photos. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Still convenient. I mean, every now and then you wanna... You wanna edit some photos. But... You know, I can also edit photos here on this in Clip Studio Paint and for the most uh, part it's fine if I don't have to like do some really professional work and like like make for example like crop out people and make it appear as if they uh, they've never been in the photo in the first place or stuff like that. I think Clip Studio is not really suited for that kind of photo manipulation. The Adobe gods demand a high price for their services, which is why you could use them. Yeah, that's also a thing. Adobe is not cheap. You have to have, I think, like a monthly subscription kind of thing. Um, it's just uh, with Clip Studio, you buy it once. It's just 50 bucks and often they have like sales for 50% and it's just 25 bucks and it's a lifetime license. So you just pay it once and you have it forever and that's great. If you want to use the animation tools or something like that then you need to buy the EX version which is, which is a bit more expensive but still it's not that unreasonable. Gotta run off, alright. Yeah. You're gotta you gotta prepare your stream of course. Well then see you later. And we'll definitely drop by later. So the one month free trial? Yeah a lot like Almost all of the art programs offer some kind of free trial. And that's what I most like normally say when, uh, when somebody asks me to recommend some art programs. Just try them out yourself. Uh, almost all of them have free trials. Just make use of these free trials. There is. Clip Studio, there is Krita. Well, Krita is free, what am I saying? Uh, there are also, yeah, so there are also just free software that doesn't even cost anything at all. And you can also try the, uh, those, like Krita, for example. There are a couple of others, but I don't know. Um. And yeah, and then just see what works best for you. It also depends really a lot on uh, like what you want to make with it. If you're more focused on something more painterly styled, um, Photoshop then in that case still can work pretty well, and a couple of other programs. If you want to have more like this, like design, you want to make some like clean designs with vector graphics then some other programs might be more suited clip studio here for example is also very good for drawing so like drawing lines and stuff it has a lot of tools which make uh these kind of things a lot easier it has perspective tools all sorts of rulers very convenient for those kind of purposes So yeah, what kind of art do you make, Gigi? Do you usually create? There's so much drawings. Uh. Mm. I do sell, quote unquote, sell my drawings. Uh, you can get them printed out on all sorts of stuff in my merchandise shop. Link is down below. And that's on. 
Um, and I mean, I cannot really sell originals because my work is digital, so I can't really do that. Um, and do I take commissions? Right now, not really. We're like just limited to certain people that I know personally. Uh, in the future, I might. I might take commissions, but I need to look into that a bit more in detail. Uh, translating from English to Spanish is difficult. Takes you a long, to a long time to ask. Yeah, sorry about that, but I have no idea how to speak in English. I wish I could help you out a bit better. And I, I assume you cannot speak German either, so...
Hmm. I'm actually kind of pleased with how these clouds are turning out. Turning out. Um, I think I figured out a new kind of technique that works pretty well. Which is great. want to get in there and correct some of these edges because they need to be softened. After that, we're gonna be done with the clouds. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the rest pretty quickly, uh, like the the details on the water, the island, and the moon shouldn't take that long. And then we're gonna raid our friend Lucid. I'm switching back and forth between blur and blend. And blur is just making the edge blur and blurry, and that's just basically it. But um, sometimes I want to add a bit more detail and make it like a bit wispy. I don't know how to say.
have to go? Alright, I'll see you later. And also, thank you. It was nice to talk to you. It's the pigeons again. That's the problem with wearing the headphones. I can't tell what kind of noise ha is happening. It's just if there's a loud noise, the like boom. It could be the pigeons, could be the cat jumping around, could be someone breaking into my apartment. I don't know. Although the last one is very unlikely, of course.
Ups. All right. Hmm. Want to say right, but then of course immediately I uh, notice some more things. It's a never-ending story. Let's move on with the moon. To make it simple for me, I'm just gonna just gonna use this here. Of course it's beneath the clouds. maybe Maybe some glow around it. Just very lightly.
Okay. Next up, how about we paint the island? <sighs> what kind of color? Let me pick the blue color again. Shift it more towards a little bit of purple and make it very dark sticks out quite a lot. I'm not gonna vary the colors all that much. Obviously, it's just gonna be one color. Keeping things simple. I'm gonna draw the houses a bit differently though.
purposes. Let's see how we're gonna do these. Of course, when I had to turn on, when I had to restart my PC, it also turned off my BRB status, my do not disturb status. Well,
how about we have a lighthouse over here. So, and you might barely recognize the city, but that's because it doesn't have any lights in it. So... Meow meow! We have a visitor! Oh my gosh! Meow meow! There is Kitty! Meow meow, it's me! Especially the lighthouse needs to be very bright. Just some lit up windows. Uh. Hello? Wrong two. Just here and there. Doesn't matter too much. Where exactly they're placed, and if it makes all that much sense. Because it's really small in the end, anyways. So who cares? Oh, meow meow, you're just wandering around. Come here. Soon I'm done, kid. I wait a little bit longer. Let me just finish the painting, okay? Show everybody a button. Huh? 
Oh, kitty. Oh, meow, meow. Ne bozivaš? Ne bozivaš? Hm? Jsi mít? Let's all in all like illuminate the city village a little bit. It's a bit shiny. So, of course, I should not forget the boats that I bought it to add. And there are just some tiny boats. I don't really have too much of an idea of how to how to draw ships and boats. It doesn't matter all too much. Again, everything is gonna be really tiny. So it doesn't matter all that much. Then, far off in the distance, you can see some other, some other islands, very faintly. I cannot see any details about them. Just like in Wind Waker. And you just see a faint dot in the distance and you see, ah, there is an island. Let's explore it. Just let's go over there and explore it. Nothing is hindering you. Maybe over here too. Just tiny, tiny island. Fainter, even. And also, blur it a little bit.
All right. And now, last but not least, finally, the wave structure, however you would call it. So let's see. I'm gonna do this. Just gonna use my outliner, maybe. Let's make it really bright at first and just gonna tone it down later. Try to vary the line thickness as much as possible. I think that these shapes need to be smaller. When I eventually do the, the tutorial about water waves and stuff like that, or water surfaces, then I'm also gonna look more into this kind of pattern. Which I really like. I'd love to paint that pattern more. <laughs> she is still here? Yes, actually. She's still here. Amazing. The pigeons are making so much noise outside. It's um, ridiculous. <sighs> Freaking pigeons.
Fuck off, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing with the camera? Enjoy. Cuddles. Oh, kitty wants cuddles. Oh, yeah. Let me finish this this painting. I know it's it's taken a while. It's taken a while. Oh, please be patient. So what I want to do is just let it fade out. Just let it fade out. Oops, that was the wrong one. Although I can actually use this here. Oh. Uh. And then just here and there, make it less monochrome. In the distance, it's gonna get fainter. The water. Does it do that in, in reality? I don't know. Maybe actually let's make it darker. How about that? Yeah. Actually no. And then around the island... Needs to be a lot more color. It is a bit too glowy. <laughs>
so I'm not entirely happy with the, the color, so let's change that. to sure. Maybe no. I have the feeling that the horizon line is tilted. It's not. There is one thing that I forgot, and that is the stars in the night sky. It's important, of course. So, for that, I'm just gonna put this here. Is this the one I want to use? Sure. Cool with that. Important is I should not put any stars over here because the moon is actually there is still here, it's blocking whatever is behind the moon. There shouldn't be any any stars. effect real quick do I wish I could I could move the oval after it's after it's had been deployed or you would say to that. Because if I try to move it afterwards it doesn't really work. Well, I can do this I guess. Okay. 
Okay. I'm not too happy with how the C has turned out with the with the texture. Texture is a bit too large. Like look at how close it is and how large the texture still appears. I think I need to move the island a little bit. Uh, where are we there? Lights shine. There we go. Just this here, please. better uh, that also means I need to Move this here. Okay. Finger. Add a name tag. corner like most of the time and there we go I might make some adjustments off screen uh, off stream uh, but for now this has turned out all right especially the clouds I'm pretty happy with all right let's make the the picture properly show it on screen so the thumbnail is nicely going to show it like this there we go I'm pretty sure that the the Wind Waker inspiration is very obvious <laughs> um, which well it's just, it, it's accurate. And yeah. That's it gonna be for me. Let's see. It was a bit of a chaotic stream today. But yeah, we're gonna start our raid on Lucid. And they are currently playing Helltaker. So Lucid um, is a good friend of ours and then mod here on Twitch and um, play some chill games and is a very lovely human being and currently they're playing Helltaker, a very short game but today is an exception, normally she doesn't, uh, they, do, they don't stream on first day but the next 10 days or so they're gonna be uh, gone they're gonna be on a trip or something like that and so yeah wanna wanna uh, send over some love before they're gonna take a little break from streaming so let's see what Start read and then read. So, if you're on the YouTube side, please jump over to Twitch and you can join the read. 
Um, and yeah, other than that, I wish you a lovely day or night wherever you are. And is Hoko here? She's not here. Oh well. Can't be helped. Alright then, 